So today we're going to be focusing on that under eye area, you know, puffiness, dark circles, fine lines, texture, dryness. We're going to be reviewing and testing out the brand new Fenty Beauty Wear Even Hydrating Long Wear Concealer. I also have a brand new color corrector from one of my favorite skincare companies, Dermatology. It's supposed to be luminous, color correcting, and it has an SPF of 41, just in time for an early spring. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. Yes, we're gonna be focusing on that delicate under eye area. I know a lot of us have issues with it like puffiness, dark circles, discoloration, fine lines, and it's really tough to find the right color corrector or concealer. So I'm super excited to test out both these new products, one from Fenty Beauty, their new We're Even Hydrating Longwear Concealer, and a skincare slash color corrector from Dermatology, their Luminous Eye Corrector with an SPF of 41. That's pretty darn important in my book. Now that we're venturing into spring, hopefully soon, and summer's just around the corner, we really have to think about that delicate under eye area. I know we use an SPF, hopefully, all over our complexion, but the skin under our eyes is the most delicate and thin, so we really have to protect it. So I couldn't wait to share this product with you and let you know how it works for our mature skin. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I have no makeup on right now. I just have my usual morning skincare. I did my primer already and I just use my go-to Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Foundation in translucent. I just wanted to get a nice smooth complexion and use products that I trust, that I know that will work with the color corrector as well as the concealer. So that way we know it's not the products that I trust and it's gotta be the concealer. Like I said, I have no makeup on my face and if you're new to my channel, I do have normal to dry skin. I have hyperpigmentation, fine lines, redness. I do have very delicate under eye lines under here as well as, you know, when you smile. <laughs> I get those lines too. We all have lines, we all have texture and pores. But now that my primer's already settled into my complexion, I'm just gonna start out with a foundation that I know, that I trust, that I love, that looks really beautiful on mature skin. You've seen me talk about this before. It's from RMS Beauty, their Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. I have been loving this foundation. I'm ready for a foundation that I know and trust that will look good on my complexion. I'm just going in with a tiny pump. That's all you need. It has beautiful medium coverage and it's just a beautiful silky consistency and it just lays super smooth on the complexion, super easy to blend in. I seem like I'm far away, am I? I recently reviewed the Euphoria Date Night Skin Tint Serum Foundation and I really wanted to love it. It starts out beautiful, but then it just goes to hell in a handbasket after about six hours. But if you missed that review, I'll be sure to put it down in the description box below. That was a fun review. We're having a hair malfunction. Okay. That's a little bit better. Okay. Now this product from Dermatology has been all over my Facebook page. I can't go on Facebook without seeing at least three or four advertisements for the new Dermatology Luminous Eye Corrector SPF 41. Is it a concealer? Is it a color corrector? It's kind of like a combination of both. The prime ingredients are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So those are basically high protection minerals to physically block the sun's harmful rays. It also contains watermelon, apple, and lentil fruit extract. Fruit extracts selected to deliver hydration and visibly plump fine lines and wrinkles. It also contains snow mushroom. That is actually a really popular ingredient lately these days. The multifunctional fungi to replenish and boost dry and deflated skin. It also contains peptides, which we all know that plumps up the complexion. And then ceramides, which are lipid molecules that repairs, softens, and locks moisture into the skin barrier. Now, this comes in four shades. The shades are fair, medium, tan, and deep. These were sent to me in PR. I'm being fully transparent here, but I do purchase a lot of dermatology products on my own, especially the Needleless Serum and the LA Serum. Those are two of my absolute favorite skincare products from dermatology. I think their trademark is uh, skincare backed by science. That's right. But this is not a sponsored video. I have been testing this out ever since I received it. And I really wanted to share it with you, especially with those who have dry under eyes, puffy under eyes, dark circles, 
the whole gamut. They sent me fair, medium, and tan. And after trying out fair, I thought it would be fair, but oh my gosh, this was way too light on my complexion. So I passed it on to my mother-in-law and I think she is really enjoying it. My favorite part of this whole component has got to be the applicator. It's one of those cooling applicators that's made out of steel, metal, and you have to pump from here at the top and fair warning, you do not, I repeat, do not need a lot of this color corrector. A lot comes out, but you don't need that much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you exactly what it looks like, see if it focuses. And I'm just gonna, whoop. Now already, that's a lot. But I wanted you to see the consistency of it, the shade. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this part of my hand, the excess, fun tip, Whenever you're testing concealers like from Displays or at Sephora or Ulta, always test it on the inside of your thumb. Your thumb has those lines that can mimic the lines on your eyes. So it's always good to test it out there to see if it settles into those fine lines. But I thought that was a really good tip that I wanted to pass along with you. So whenever you're testing out any sort of concealers in the stores, put it on the inside of your thumb and you'll see if it settles into those lines on your thumbs. But as you can see, this is a nice peachy color that's going to color correct the under eye area. Now, the first time I tried this, I tried it my typical way, heating it up, putting it on my fingertips and then tapping it along my under eye area, but no, 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 no. <laughs> you have to use the cooling applicator. And in this instance, I know I put way too much, so I'm just gonna, that's for showsies, but now I'm just gonna take a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And I'm gonna scoot up, mm, let's scoot up closer. All right, oh yeah. My eyes are a little puffy this morning. I must have had too much salt or soy sauce last night from the sushi because my I can tell because my eyes will puff up. And this is a fantastic cooling mechanism, cooling applicator. So what you do is you could, oh, it already feels so much better. I like to go through here and it looks like you're putting on a lot, but you're just kind of massaging it in and it feels like a little spa moment that you're having really looks like a lot and you would think wait a minute I can't put concealer on top of it you can that's the beauty of it and I'm just kind of cooling off my eyes right now trying to get that stuff to depuff and I'm just gonna pump a little bit more oh just a tiny bit more and it really goes on silky it feels so good I could just sit here for the entire video and massage my under eye area. <laughs> that would be entertaining, wouldn't it? Oh, feels good, okay. And then I'm gonna put it on top of my eyes, on my eyelid area. Turn it over like that. Kind of give myself an eye massage. Cause you can see on my eyelids, total discoloration. Take what's over there, kind of bring it up. Oh, that feels good. Looks like a lot, I know, don't get scared. Trust the process. It's luminous, it's thin, it's hydrating at the same time. I love applicators like this because it really feels like you're reducing the puffiness. Like that. And I'm just gently gonna pat it in. After using that cooling applicator, it just blends in like butter. It really does. And it immediately brightens. And I know I love the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Color Corrector in Peach. You know that's been my go-to, but I don't think it has SPF in it. And with summer coming just around the corner, I'm definitely gonna be using this every day because not only does it color correct, but it's also gonna give you that SPF of 41. And I've noticed in the last year recently, I've gotten a lot more hyperpigmentation and melasma. It's just, it's just aging. It's the aging process. I will be 57 next month, incidentally on the first day of spring. So yeah. And you really don't need to use a brush or a sponge, just your fingertips. And let me take a look. This, oh, what? Are you kidding me? Look at the difference. 
Now you can use this as your concealer or for those no makeup makeup days, this would be absolutely perfect for that. You don't have to worry about throwing on more skunk, skunk screen. <laughs> You don't have to worry about throwing on more sunscreen because that delicate under eye area is going to be protected and look amazing at the same time. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Now I do have a code for dermatology. I will be sure to put it down in the description box below. And of course, all the products that I'll be using today, there will be links down there. And if you do click on those links, it does help out my channel a little bit. And if you don't, that is cool too. But if you do, I genuinely appreciate it. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, I cannot, cannot get over how good this looks. I have not tried it yet with the RMS Beauty Re-Evolve Foundation. This, I could just go like this. My skin looks great right now. I mean, thank you for Finally, wearing a foundation. I love testing out foundations, you guys. I absolutely do. But this last couple of weeks, I've been batting a zero with several of the foundations I've been testing out. But this is a gorgeous combination. All I need is a little bit of lip, a little mascara, and I am good to go. This looks beautiful. But we are forging ahead. Let's talk about the new Fenty Beauty We're Even hydrating long wear concealer. Now this just recently launched and I was excited about this concealer. For me, Fenty Beauty is hit or miss, super pricey, I know, but the shade range, 50 shades, that is unbelievable. Let's read the details on this. Now it's a buildable medium coverage with a natural second skin finish. It's extreme long wear formula that resists creasing, fading, and sweat and humidity. Hydrates and brightens instantly and through 12 hours. Oh, there's that number again, 12 hours. Now it visibly improves dark circles and puffiness instantly. Well, we got that covered already with the luminous color corrector from Dermatology. Um, it won't settle into fine lines or accentuate skin texture. It is transfer proof and waterproof, no flashback and non comedogenic Now this also contains ingredients like Persian silk tree extract to help target signs of fatigue around the eyes, sodium hyaluronate to help hydrate and condition, and prickly pear cactus extract, a humectant that attracts moisture from the air. I've been testing this out for the last week and I am pleasantly surprised. It was actually the secret concealer that I was testing out with the Euphoria Date Night Serum foundation. Love the concealer, didn't like the foundation, but it is light to medium coverage. It is a very silky, thin consistency, almost borderline serum concealer. That's why my ears kind of went, huh? Thin consistency? Ding, ding, ding. So even though my under eye area looks great, we're going to go ahead and apply just a tiny bit of this concealer. I do see a little bit of darkness right through here that we can apply. Super thin consistency. And I have darkness right through there just to lift the eye area. And of course, right, I get red as huge. And you seriously do not need a lot of this concealer because a little bit goes a long way. And if, you if you're looking, oh my gosh, Catherine, you're laying product on top of product under the most delicate under eye area. I know, right? So that's marinade for a moment. I'm gonna start on the outside and just gently tap it in. The consistency is so thin and so lightweight with the coverage of being, I'd say light to medium, this would be perfect for you ladies that just want something really natural looking under the eyes that's really gonna hydrate that parched area. And I'm in the shade 190 Warm. I really don't feel like it's heavy whatsoever. I really think this is a winning combination of both color corrector as well as concealer because of course color corrector is going to really correct the dark circles under your eyes and also giving you a spa moment. <laughs> I like to think of it as a spa moment. And then just really evening out that puffiness. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of get that area right through my nose. It's taking my concealer brush and making sure it is all blended together. Oh, it looks like I actually got about eight hours of sleep. The reality is I got about five hours of sleep. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. 
And here we are with the final look. Now for bronzer, I just used RMS's Beridi Bronzer. I got this about two months ago. I've been using it behind the scenes and I just wanted to share it with you today. It is a beautiful cream bronzer. It's not as creamy as let's say the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer, which I absolutely love. And now a recent favorite of mine is the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer. Oh my God, I've been absolutely loving that. This is takes a little bit of work to get it going. You have to warm it up with your fingertips, but once you get it going, it is such a beautiful natural bronze. It doesn't pull too orange. It just lays really smooth on the skin. And once you apply it, I warm it up with my fingertips, tap it onto the complexion, and then blend it in with my brush. It just does a beautiful job of warming up the complexion, making it look juicy and tropical and moist, but it takes a little elbow grease. I'll give you that. It takes a little elbow grease to get this going but once you get it going man it is so pretty especially on mature skin and then for blush i went in with a classic the essence pure nude baked blush in rosy rosewood such a great formula you guys oh my gosh if you have not tried these baked blushes from essence you are missing out because they were affordable gorgeous and they looked they look high end on your complexion so much pigment now it does have a little bit of you know a little bit of sheen to it but my goodness it doesn't add any texture to your complexion that's what i love about these baked blushes i may have to get some more of this baked blush because they're just an absolutely stellar formula but yeah loving this blush and then for eyes did a totally simple look i busted out the ethereal eyes from makeup by mario i just used two shades these two shades here, this one in the crease, this one above my brow bone. And then for all over the lid, I went in with Elf's No Budge Shadow Sticks in the shade Magnetic Pull. Oh my God, what a beautiful color combination. It's like a really soft metallic lavender that doesn't add any texture to your lids and it just lays really smooth and it does not budge, it does not crease. These are fantastic. I know I featured these in, in many of my e.l.f. videos, but this is truly a classic. If you're looking for an affordable eyeshadow stick, this is, this is great. They also come in matte shades as well, but Magnetic Pull is just so pretty on the eyes. Then for mascara, I've been testing out Grand Mascara's Conditioning Peptide Mascara. Now this came in a little gift set at Ulta. It also came with a travel size Grand Lash MD Serum. You know I swear by that stuff. It really helps grow my lashes longer and thicker. So I figured why not for 25 bucks get a travel size mascara as well as the serum. This is a pretty good formula and for $25 you get both. I highly, highly recommend it. Definitely, definitely check that out. But such a great deal for the serum travel size as well as the travel size mascara. Mascara? Where'd that come from? But we're but we're here to judge the under eye area, okay? We're talking about the Fenty Beauty We're Even Hydrating Longwear Concealer as well as the Color Corrector from Dermatology Luminous Eye Corrector SPF 41. I'll tell you what, if you're in the market for a product that's going to help your under eye area, that's gonna hydrate it, that's gonna depuff, that's gonna color correct those, those dark circles under your eyes, and you want to treat your something to not just great skincare, but a great color corrector as well, as something that's going to really just improve the under eye area, I highly recommend this color corrector. And you'll have peace of mind knowing that you're protecting that delicate under eye area with an SPF of 41. It doesn't settle into fine lines. It's not drying whatsoever. You definitely can layer another concealer on top of it. As you can see, let's talk about Miss Fenty Beauty's We're Even Concealer. I'll be honest with you, I like it on top of the color corrector because it adds a little bit more coverage. It is a little smoother on the under eye area. I noticed when I used it on its own without a color corrector, it's still pretty, but very light, light coverage, like almost sheer coverage. Uh, sheer is stretching it, okay? It's light coverage. But I noticed by the end of the day, it did kind of fade. Would I say it's very long wearing? Not exactly, but when, when you put these two products together, it's like magic. I can't explain it. It looks so good. I look like I got eight hours of sleep. 
So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. But for now, mwah, mahal kita. I love you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.